So, um, what's your view on all things moving the ball? 03717 Should we, Do you want to hear some audio first before we have our say? Yeah, no worries. I don't know how long it is. Knowing Dan, it's probably about two and a half hours. Um, breakfast striker Ivan Tony returned from his eight month ban with a bang on Saturday night as he scored in his side's 3 2 win over Forest. He's been accused of cheating for moving the ball to another spot when he scored his free kick. After the match, uh, he told TalkSport he couldn't understand all the commotion. If I was to play short, you have like half a yard, I'm sure, a yard either side, so I don't see what the big fuss is about. But it went in the back of the net, got given a goal, so. That's my job to do. The fact that everyone's helped me through the whole situation, uh, I think it's just a lot to everyone celebrating in the bench where the whole team would be. So, yeah, it's was, it was good to celebrate with the, with the boys and obviously the fans. And, yeah, like I said, it's just good to be on the pitch again, helping the team get back to winning ways. All right, firstly, well done, Ivan Tony, for scoring. Right? Mm-hmm. Well done for coming back for starting as well. I'm a big mm-hmm. fan of Ivan Tony. I'm not going to say anything he, he negative. Looked, he, looked, he looked good as well. He, he looked brilliant. Right? He got man re- the match in the sky. Did he? Yeah, he okay, did, yeah. rightly so. I mean, I mean, it wasn't just his hold up play and his scoring abilities, but some of the balls he was picking up the balls on the yeah, on the drawing, far right, drawing yeah. fouls. Even yeah. the, the, he put a crossing for somebody. I can't remember who the player was, and they should have done better. Whipped with it, it. Yeah, whipped from it. just on the right hand side, yeah. it right over to where the penalty spot is. Mm. He looks brilliant. He, he does. looks brilliant. Well, I'm Fantastic not say, goal as well. I'm not going to say anything negative about him because I really like him. And it's really easy for me to come on Astro and go, it's disgusting, right? It's not disgusting, is I'm it? I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to play a little bit of devil's advocate. Just ask the questions to you that other people are. I are think it's asking. a little. I, honestly, I'm not, not you per se, but I think it's a bit of embarrass. I think it's a little bit embarrassing. Like, because... Okay, let me ask you this: Can you understand? I mean, Nottingham Forest have actually written and complained to the PGMOL. That's embarrassing. Yeah, it's all down to your manager's fault yeah, who that. started that. Do you, do you know what it is, right? And people who watch football regular, you do, we all do, right? How many times is a free kick, or even a throw on, taken from where it should be? Hardly ever. If there's a free kick, someone will move it forward a little bit, no one says anything. If there's a throw on, the guy will pretend to throw it, walk forward two yards. Mm -hmm. Pretend to throw it again, walk forward another two yards. It's never where it's supposed to be. So the fact now, all of a sudden, because he scored it, the only reason why people go nuts is because of the outcome, because he scores it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, no, it's not cheating. it's, It's even like, I know... People moving the ball back. The amount of times when a freak gets close to the, the box and people move it back a little bit. I don't class that as cheating. Not at all. Okay. Um, who's to blame, right? And I think it's one of two people. Either the ref or the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper for letting it in and not arranging his wall or the referee for not actually seeing him do it. I saw Matt Turner last season for Arsenal and he was awful. So, so when he went, I went, yeah. And we've seen it before for Forrest this year. Him trying to play out from the back yeah. of his feet. He can't do it. Can't he's do been it. caught as well, by right. the way. Pure yeah. times, yeah. right? But when you look at the way that him and Yates, and fair play to, to Ryan Yates, because he's turned around looking at the goalkeeper again, letting him know we're in the wrong position. He can he, You can see him signalling, he yeah. can whip it round us. He can whip it round us. Goalkeeper doesn't do anything about it. So I blame the goalkeeper in that instance. Also, why are they, not te- why are they telling Callum hudson Odoi to stand on the, on the outside of the wall and leave a gap about know, two yards? And the reason why you have someone there is if there's two people on the ball, in case someone runs down the outside of the wall, you've got a player there who can go with him. There was only one person on the ball. Why is he standing there mm. in the first place? All the all these these situations, as I said, the, the way the wall was lined up, the goalkeeper, Hudson Doyle in that position, I blame the Forest players. Okay. Because surely they could see quite clearly, I could see it from where I was sitting in the booth that, hold on, he can whip it around there. It's not, it, Andy, it doesn't even have to be a smash. It's like a hard side yeah. foot pass yeah. into the corner. Yeah. Okay. Is he allowed to do that? Yeah. Let me ask the question again. Yeah. Is he allowed to pick a ball up, yeah. move it to gain move, an advantage, move, move, it half a yard. Mo- move the foam? Yeah. Well, listen. So I, think, I think the answer is no. Also, okay. I I think, hold on. By no, the, but let's evaluate okay, it. Because I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, but by but the I'm asking the, law, the questions. By the letter of the law. Is he, he allowed to do he's that? He's not. But right. also, goalkeepers, by the letter of the law, are not allowed to hold onto the ball in their hands for longer than six seconds. I know. And yet they do. I know, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. No, right? I don't no, think there's a problem with it. I'm agreeing with you, but I'm asking the questions. Of course he's not cheating, right? It's not a handball, Diego Maradona or Thierry and cheating. cheating, right? But he is getting an unfair advantage. Mm, cle- it's clever. Right? I think it's clever. Yeah, he's probably clever, yeah. But it's also thick. He, he's not allowed to do it, it's and also, he's done it. It's also thick, right? Because when you watch the replay, not the Forest players are watching him do it. And not one of them goes, hold on a second here, ref, look what he's doing. Yeah. Or they go, oh, he's moving it there, so he's going to go for that corner. Nobody. Yeah, the only, the only reason he's moving it... More to the right, so we can bend it into that corner. Exactly. Yeah. Not one part there, but all the wall are all. You always get, when you set up set plays, you always get one, like someone who's designated to look at the ball and make sure they don't move it. Mm-hmm. No one does that. Okay. So just going back on what you're saying, right? When the referee puts the ball down, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm talking about the letter of the law. Yeah. Where the free kick is, you're not allowed to move it. No. Okay. So 
I, I know it's I know it's comparing apples to oranges, but when you have a penalty and that you you put the ball down in in a specific place, yeah. you're not allowed to move it. You can't move it to the right. No, but, you can, but right. my point is though, you can put it anywhere on that penalty spot as long as it's touching. Yeah. that. Yeah, but he moved it more than a ball's circumference. The second time he did, yeah. Okay, I'm agreeing with you. But all I'll say is, of course he's not cheating, but all I'll say is, I can understand the moan-ups. Okay, but the moans up. It only yeah. mo- people only moan because it happens against them, right? Yeah. But how many free kicks, Andy, do we see where someone goes down in this position and then all of a sudden they take it from a different position? Yeah. And also we see quite often is when a defender, usually if he's got a free kick in his own half, will get the ball and throw it out in front with backspin on exactly. it. Exactly. There we go. So I, I get it, but I can, at the same time, I can understand the frustration. Let's speak to football fans. I'm, I'm guessing the majority of people that will put it will be Forest fans. Let's speak to one now. He goes by the name of Mark. Hello, Mark. Afternoon, gentlemen. Darren, Andy, you all right? Yeah, good, very well. How are you, sir? Not so bad, not so bad, not so bad. I think um, I think Bent has um, got his derby, derby-tinted glasses on, I think, yeah? Go on. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you put foam around the ball, I've never ever seen anybody move the ball out of the foam and then move the foam afterwards. It's obviously, he's, he's, he's proving himself to be guilty by moving the foam. Is it cheating? Well, yeah, of course it is, because that's what, where the free kick is. I've never seen a free kick moved on the edge of the box like that. Oh, I understand oh, oh, a bit of the hey, pitch. Mark, I've seen that many a time people move, n- not, not necessarily the foam, but the amount of times I've seen free kicks, James ward Price is a master at it, for instance. When they get a free kick on the edge of the box, if it's too close, you watch him, he'll roll it back half a yard so he can get a bit more distance on it. But the point is, why is he moving the foam? Well, that's, that's up to Ivan Tony. That's just clever. C- can I ask you, Mark? Do you see um, in the same light as a defender picking up a ball and he's got throwing him and walking up the, the touchline five yards while he's talking to his teammates and then throwing it? Do you see that as the same offence? No, because it's not directly. You not. You don't score a goal directly from it. Well, what about if it's Rory Delap doing it? Yeah, but it's still, it's still not gonna. It's still not gonna score directly, are you? Yeah, but it I might know, result in a goal. In. I know you can throw the ball into the net, and it could be a goal. I understand that, but the point is. So, you, are you saying it's goal. only a crime because it resulted in a goal? No, I think it's. I think it's more of a crime the fact that he's moved the foam to sort of almost trick the referee into thinking he hadn't moved it. So, if he doesn't move the foam, that's okay. Well, it's not okay, but you you can understand if he's put the, if he's moved the foam, he's trying to hide something, isn't he? Okay, Mark. But what what role does your goalkeeper have to play in this then? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm no, not disputing that the fact that the wall wasn't set up correctly. I'm not not disputing that. But that's our fault, isn't it? the The fact that he's moved the ball is completely out of our control, isn't it? Mm. Okay, what should happen, Mark? Well, nothing can happen. That's the problem. No, but what should um, in your world? What would you like to see happen? What, after the game? Yeah, now. Because well, no, no, Nottingham no. Forest have written to the PGMOL and complained, right? What would you like to see the response be? Well, well unfortunately, like the rest of the season, the, the string of the string of sorries and apologies that we've had from the PGMOL is, is ridiculous. And but that'll be another one we could put on the list. Yeah, listen, that part if, I agree with, Mark. The PGMOL have if, just been... If you, if you go down by two points, will you look back at this result? No, because it's over. It's over okay. thirty-eight games. Right. So right. I'm so glad Mark, said, I'm so yeah, glad Mark right said that. I hate when people go. It might cost us. What about the other rest yeah. of the thirty-seven games? Yeah, good call there, Mark. Thank you for that. Let's quickly speak to Andrew, a Brentford fan. Hi, Andrew. Hi, chaps. Andy, Darren. How are you? Yeah. Right. L- legally, I have to ask you this question: Are you a friend of, or do you know No Tan Dan? No, I'm not. No, but okay. I'm always listening out for him. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, you're, you're free to talk now. <laughs> OK, um, as I've been listening, I was at the game, but I just wanted to say what an impact uh, one player can have on such yep. a game. And yep. it was, he played absolutely brilliant. The atmosphere was fantastic. But um, if not in the forest, the wall, if they weren't trying to nick a yard coming forward, that's cheating. The referee wouldn't have had to try and get them back, therefore not giving Ivan Tony the time to move the ball. So I think when Ivan Tony moved the ball, first of all, if you look at the clip, he moved it very slightly looked up and saw the referee still wasn't looking. So he thought, I'll have another quick half a yard as well while he's not looking. Mm. Obviously giving him a, another bit of a, a better chance. But he still had a lot to do as well, in my opinion, and the goal was superb. And yeah, that was it. Is it cheating? No, definitely not. It's only cheating because if you... And I'll be honest, I'm a football fan. If someone, if Danilo for Forrest had done it against us, I wouldn't say he's cheating. It's just good. Oh, you so <laughs> would. Do, are, are, we put, are we putting, are we putting this then in the same bracket? It's like diving. Um... 
That's a very good question. And also, by the way... Yeah, I th- I'd say yeah. N- no chance. Well, also, di- hold on, diving when you've not been touched. Yeah, and also... Yes. If Ivan Tony oh, did, did, know, if Ivan Tony did this in the Euro final, would no one have nothing to say about it? No. I oh, know, but that's it, always the uh, counter no, argument. But that's my point. If we can't, you can't be in one instant. Oh, you can. Team. We're football fans. We're all fickle. Yeah, no. We've I, got no morals. I have got no problems with it whatsoever. Right. If it happens against Arsenal, if it happens tonight against Ipswich, yeah, it's, it's one clever. Well played, Mavadidi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that, clip that, and we'll play it tomorrow <laughs> yeah. when he moves that ball five yards to the right. Yeah, I've not in. got no problem with it whatsoever. Okay. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.